Say you want to turn this logo into something like this, or maybe this, or even this. Well, here's how you can do it. Head over to firefly.adobe.com and let's get started. First, we'll begin by crafting a simple prompt that describes the material you want your logo to have, as well as the background. For example, something like a metallic texture or wooden finish for the logo, and you can set any type of background that complements the design. Now, the initial generation might not look exactly like your logo, that's totally fine. We're going to make some adjustments to get the perfect result. First, set the content type to photo. This helps give your logo a more realistic and detailed look. Next, under composition, you'll want to upload an image of your logo. Once that's done, make sure the strength is set to 100%, so that Firefly fully incorporates the logo into the final design. At this point, you can go one step further to enhance the look. I personally like using the hyper-realistic effect for more detailed, lifelike results, so I'm going to switch that on. Now, hit Regenerate again, and Adobe Firefly will give you several cool options to choose from, all styled using the material and background prompt you provided. From here, feel free to get creative. You can change up the material, maybe switch to something like moss or stone, and adjust the background. For example, you could add in a grassy field, top-down view for a completely different look, and that's it. With a bit of experimentation, you'll end up with some pretty snazzy logo transformations. Once you start experimenting with your prompts, you'll end up with some pretty snazzy results. Thanks for watching everyone, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all next time.